Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. We are going to talk about uh, span ports with ACLs. So span port, or what we would call a mirror port, um, is uh, normally with a mirror port, whatever you whatever comes in on your monitor port, you send to the mirror, right? So um, often when you're trying to troubleshoot a problem, you don't need all of the traffic that's coming in that port. You only need a small fraction. Maybe you're only looking for things uh, to or from a specific IP address or a certain TCP or UDP port or a certain protocol. And so you spend a lot of time in Wireshark or whatever your sniffer is trying to, you know, filter out those packets and try to determine what happened. With this feature, uh, we can apply an ACL, so that could be a standard or extended ACL or even a named ACL, and be very, very specific on exactly what traffic we want to capture and send to that mirror. So instead of you spending your time filtering it, you just get a very concise uh, amount of traffic. So instead of you know hundreds or thousands or millions of packets, um, over a period of time, you're going to get just what you're looking for. And so, especially if the issue that you're trying to troubleshoot it is intermittent, maybe it only happens once an hour or, you know, once every couple hours or something like that, you may end up with millions and millions of packets with a regular span port. But in this case, you're going to have just what you're looking for and nothing more. So, the way we do that, uh, from my 7250, as always, the first thing we're going to do is set up a generic mirror port. So mirror um, E, so what Ethernet port you're going to send it to, and 1 slash 1 slash 2. So that's a global command, right? Applies to whatever you send to it, just like a regular mirror. Then we need to create an ACL. So this is, you know, our ACLs standard or extended are, you know, they're, they're the same across all of our platforms, so the same on Cisco platforms. So if you don't know how to create an ACL, there's other videos uh, in my series on how to do that. But in this case, um, it's access-list, uh, and then whether it's a standard or extended. So in this case, we'll create an extended. Uh, as I said, it could have been a named one as well. Um, and we're permitting. So permitting what we want to send to the mirror, right? So we permit. Um, and then because it's an extended ACL, uh, we could do it by protocol. So let's do a protocol. Let's uh, Let's just send OSPF traffic okay and then you could do it by host you could do it by specific source uh, specific destination etc subnet um, so we'll just do let's do any source to any destination um, and then the last thing we need to do is do a mirror here so uh, whatever's permitted on this line, so we're so specifically we're looking at OSPF traffic from any source to any destination is going to be sent to our mirror. Now, as with all ACLs, right? Remember, there's an explicit deny at the end, and so even though I did a permit OSPF any any, I still need to do a permit IP any any uh, at the end of this without the mirror at the end, in order for all your traffic to pass. If you don't do that, it's going to send that OSPF traffic to the mirror and then drop all the rest of your traffic. And that's obviously not what you want to do, right? And you can have multiple lines here. So we could we could permit OSPF traffic. We could permit, um, you know, IP to a specific source, to a specific destination, etc. There's lots and lots of choices. And you could have many, many lines in this, in this ACL. It doesn't just have to be, you know, one line. You could do many, many things. But anyway, okay, so now we have our Access List 100 created. We're sending OSPF traffic to the mirror. Well, we're not doing anything yet. So we need to apply this ACL to a, to the, the interface or to a VE. And we also need to tell it what mirror port to send it to. So we have two things left to do. Um, so we can either do this directly on an interface. So I'm going to go to interface E1 slash 2 slash 2, for example. Right? And then I can do um, an IP access group. Uh, 100 in okay so this tells it really what we're interested in right now we need to tell it what port uh, what mirror port to send this to so um, depending on the hardware platform you may only be allowed one mirror but nonetheless we still require you to say what mirror you're gonna send that to 
Okay, so what we've done is we've said this is the traffic we're interested in mirroring, whatever's in, in uh, access group 100, and we're capturing inbound. And then we're saying send that traffic that we've told it to mirror off to this mirror port 1 slash 1 slash 2. Um, so that is for a, if you've got an IP on a physical interface, that's how it works. Now, if that port is in a VE, if it's in a VLAN, uh, we're not going to let you apply that to a physical interface. You're going to have to apply it to the VE. So uh, in that case, uh, in my running config here, I have a couple of VEs set up. I have VE100 and VE200. So we'll go into interface VE100. So in this case, if it's, a, if it's on a VE, um, what we need to do is we're going to apply the ACL to the VE. So... IP access group 100 in, but as but then the mirror port we do on the physical interface, right? So you don't have to capture all of the ports on the on the VLAN, uh, for example. You could capture a subset. So let's say we only want to capture traffic from one slash two slash one, for example. So we now we go into that interface, interface E one slash two slash one, and this is where we do the, uh, where we apply the mirror port. Right? So that's a difference. So even though in that, in that VLAN, I have many, many ports, I think I have, um, you know, 25 ports in that particular VLAN, I'm only going to um, uh, send that traffic from port one slash two slash one to the mirror. So I don't have to do all the ports in the VLAN. Um, but otherwise, that's about it. So a pretty good way to be very, very specific on what you want to capture. Um, you know, when you're done with it, you can just take it off of the interfaces uh, and kill that ACL. Uh, we can also do this with, uh, with MAC filters, uh, which there will be an upcoming video on how to do that by MAC address rather than by IP. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for joining and take care.